Hello friends, I am from learnlikepro.com. Today we are going to learn about a reasoning topic. It is nothing but syllogisms. Syllogisms. Many people think that it is a tough topic, but in reality it is a very use, very easy using Venn diagrams. What you need to do is a little bit of practice and you have to think very carefully and logically okay generally in syllogisms we have two types of statements we have two types of statements in syllogisms they are definite or direct statements and next possibility statements We will discuss about the possibility statements in the next videos. Today first we will we'll go for definite statements. Okay. Generally in syllogisms we have statements which are not real. But we have to consider them as true. Whatever the statements are given we have to consider them as true. These statements will be of four types in which two are positive and two are negative. There will be four types of statements in which two are positive and the other two are negative. Let us see what are the four types of statements. Let us consider an example. Okay. Example. All apples are bananas. And some bananas are pizzas. In reality, these statements are not true, but in syllogisms, we have to consider these statements as true. And uh, no apples are bananas. And some bananas are not pizzas. Okay, these are four kinds of statements. Here we can see that the first statement, first statement, this statement and the second statement, these are positive statements. Next, no apples are bananas and some bananas are pizzas. These two are negative statements. Okay, and also at the same time, the sum sorry the sum and the sum not these two statements are called particular statements the sum and sum not these statements are called particular statements and all the statements which begin with all and which begin with no these are called universal statements okay we will solve these syllogisms using Venn diagrams okay let's learn how to draw these Venn diagrams okay we'll see the same example we'll consider the same example and we'll see how to draw the syllogisms using Venn diagrams okay. just a second okay see here the first statement is All apples or bananas so consider apple I have drawn the Venn diagram here the A represents apples and B represent bananas here the B represent bananas and P represents pizzas and here the apples represent A represents apple and B represent bananas 
B represent bananas and P represent pizzas. Okay, let's see the first statement. All apples are bananas. Here, the first circle, the small circle, which indicates apples. This is apples and the second circle is bananas. We have drawn this diagram in such a way to satisfy this statement. Here, all apples come under bananas. So, all apples are inside the banana circle. So, all apples or bananas is satisfied. Next, some bananas or pizzas. This circle indicates bananas and this circle indicates pizzas. But this statement says some bananas or pizzas. That is, we have some bananas and pizzas. They are same. So, we will have something common. This is the common part. That is the intersection part. In this common part, we have, will have some bananas and also some pizzas. Okay. So, some bananas or pizzas will be indicated with this type of diagram and this diagram should and next this, the next statement is no apples or bananas it says nothing of the apples is bananas so apples and bananas are different so this circle indicates apples and this circle indicates bananas so these two doesn't have any relationship so they are far to one another okay so this this figure indicates no apples or bananas in the same way some bananas are not pizzas. This statement says some bananas are not pizzas. It also means that some bananas are pizzas. It means they both have some items in common. So but here this statement says about this part which is some bananas are not pizzas. This part shows some bananas are pizzas and this part shows some bananas are not pizzas. So, this is the figure which indicates some bananas are not pizzas. Okay. Now, let's go for some example problems. I think this, these diagrams are clear for you. So, let's go for example problems. Okay. Let's consider the first question. Here, two statements are given. All computers are laptops. And the second statement is all laptops are pen drives. And the conclusion says... Some pen drives are computers, some computers are pen drives and computers are not pen drives. Okay, first let us make a Venn diagram for the given statements. Here, the statement 1 says all computers are laptops. So, the, here the C indicates computers, L indicates laptops and P indicates pen drives. So, here the all compu computers are laptops and next all laptops are pen drives. So, we have drawn this diagram. Next, let's go for the conclusion. The conclusion one says some pen drives or computers. The figure shows all the computers are pen drives. And if all the computers are pen drives, then some pen drives will be computers, definitely. So some pen drives or computers, this conclusion is correct. Okay. This conclusion is correct. Next, some computers are pen drives. If all computers are laptops and all laptops are pen drives, then all computers are also pen drives. If all computers are pen drives, it means some computers are pen drives. If all computers are pen drives is correct, then some computers are pen drives is also correct. So, second conclusion also is true. Okay, now let's go for the third conclusion. Some computers are not pen drives. Some computers are not pen drives. Here all the computers are laptops and all the laptops are pen drives. Obviously it means all the computers are pen drives. Then there is no case of saying some computers are not pen drives. Here all the computers are pen drives. It also means some computers are pen drives and some computers are pen drives and some pen drives are computers. But it doesn't mean that some computers are not pen drives. So this conclusion is wrong. So here, our in our conclusions, the first conclusion and second conclusion are correct. So let's search for the answer. Here the options are given. Only conclusion 1 follows. No. Conclusion 1 and 2 follow. So here conclusion 1 and 2 both follow. So the option B is the correct answer. So next go for, let's go for next example. Okay. Next example say gives also gives two statements. All watches are clocks and no clock is a gadget. Here also there are some conclusions. No gadget is a watch. 
all clocks are watches no watch is a gadget okay first let us draw the venn diagram for all watches are clocks and no clock is a gadget so here says all watches are clocks so we have drawn all watches and and or all and all watches are clocks see we have drawn this and next no clock is a gadget no clock is a gadget means there is no relationship between clocks and gadgets so we have indicated the diagram this way okay now let us see the conclusions no gadget is a watch okay no gadget is a watch here all watches are clocks it means that all watches are clocks if no clock is a gadget then no watch is a gadget and similarly no gadget is a watch so conclusion 1 is true okay i think it is clear here all watches are clocks so this diagram indicates no clock is a gadget and no gadget is a clock obviously no watches are gadgets and no gadget is a watch so conclusion 1 no gadget is a watch is true then next all clocks are watches all clocks are watches here the figure indicates all watches are clocks but we can't say that all clocks are watches so this statement does not follow so this is a wrong statement next no watch is a gadget so already we have seen all watches are clocks and some clocks are watches and all clock no clock is a gadget means no watch is a gadget then no gadget is a watch and no clock is a gadget so no watch is a gadget is true so here our conclusions 1 and 3 follow 1 and 3 follow means this is the option c conclusion 1 and 3 follow next let us see another example here the statement says no ice cream is a cake and some cakes are burgers okay first let us dot see the venn diagram the venn diagram shows this is ice creams this is cakes and this is burgers okay first it says no ice cream is a cake so we have indicated like this no ice cream is cake then some cakes are burgers so some cakes are burgers some of these cakes are burgers okay we have indicated like this now let us see the conclusion no burger is an ice cream okay here we know that from the statements we know that no cakes are ice creams and no ice creams are cakes but we doesn't know whether any burger is an ice cream or whether any ice cream is a burger we don't know the relationship between ice cream and burger so we can't say anything about this this both ice cream and burger we only know that ice no ice cream is burger and no cake is sorry no ice cream is cake and no cake is ice cream but we don't know the relationship between ice cream and burger so we can't say anything about the conclusion one it means that it simply means that it does not follow this conclusion is not true we have to consider the conclusion as true if it is definite if you think it is 100% true but here we can't say that it is 100% true it may or may not happen so okay next second conclusion some ice creams are not burgers some ice creams are not burgers same case some we know that some no ice cream is cake and no cake is ice cream but we don't know about ice cream and burger so some ice creams are not burgers also does not follow next some burgers are not ice creams here we know the relationship between between ice cream and cake we don't know the relationship between ice cream and burger but some burgers are present in ice creams some burgers are present sorry some burgers are present in cakes these cakes can become ice creams so some burgers here some burgers are cakes some burgers are cakes and these cake the cake this cake circle includes both cakes and burgers and that burgers cannot be ice creams 
I think you understood. This cake part includes both cakes and burgers and those burgers cannot be ice creams. So some burgers are not ice creams follows. Here we have to think very carefully and very logically. So here our conclusion 3 follows. So the option will be only conclusion 3 follows. So option C is the correct answer. I hope you understood this tutorial. We will learn some more problems in our next tutorials. To know more information, subscribe to our channel Learn Like Pro. Thank you.